Welcome fellow folders. We have another Christmas special. What we have here is parcel number three, ready to be unboxed. Sent, of course, to my PO box. Uh, the address is on the screen, it's in the description. Make sure to get yours sent in for a full unboxing video of whatever it is you send. So again, what could possibly be in here? I don't think it's a model, considering it's in an envelope. Um, it's thin, it's sort of soft and flexible. Possibly paper, who knows what it could be. Also, I know who it's by, a good friend of mine, Finn. He is a young, talented, upcoming folder who is exceptionally good at his age. So I'm really curious to see what is inside. If you didn't already notice, we're doing an overhead view this time because I'm going to try different angles. Maybe this is better for unboxing videos because you can see exactly what I'm showing um, from this angle. And of course, I can see the screen as well because it's quite high up with the new tripod and setup. So I can again, I want to zoom in, oh, wrong way. I probably won't do this for like tutorials or such because it's not that easy to see. I need to look up instead of over my shoulder um, to this position, but we're gonna keep it like this. And yes, don't want to talk too much. We might as well open it. And of course I've blurred out information, which I will do as normal because information from different countries may not uh, be noticeable to me like as like a postcode or something so I'm just going to blur everything to make sure or not blur but in this case cover up um, so yes so let us open up I want to know what's inside what do we have this time I'm just going to do it nice and slow good thing is with this and um, there's no tape so it's easy enough to open. I shouldn't need any scissors. This is like Christmas. I don't say that before but it's definitely the best Christmas so far. I'm getting these amazing gifts. Now I'm not going to look inside. I have a wee quick feel. Yeah, things are moving. Oh, I see something orange. What could that be? Hopefully, I need to remember which way this lens zooms in. We've got something orange. What could this be? Now let's I'm going to turn it like this and then I'm going to open it so we'll both see, we'll all see at the same time what's inside. I'm near enough. Okay, so we have a large selection of paper from the looks of it. Seems to be tissue foil and a note. I will I read that last. I will take it all out like this so the note is at the bottom and we'll go through it. Now, funny is, I've never made tissue foil. I've never uh, used it. I think I bought some at the convention that someone made, like little squares. I've got them upstairs, but never actually used it for anything. So I'm a bit curious to see. Oh, wow. Nice and colorful. So we have paper. Again, nice size squares. Oh, let me cover it up. I don't want to uh, show the uh, show the note yet, and but I saw a picture of my logo. Then, thank you so much for this.
I mean, again, it's amazing to have something made by someone else in my hands, in my possession. So this is what tissue form looks like. You know, I may try and make this one day. I've never actually thought of making it. So why not? So very nice, Finn. Very nice. Oh, that's the, the letter. And you have a blue one as well. Lovely colour. I love how the silver of the foil comes through as well. Very neat touch. And the good thing is when you um, like, what's the word? Like, uh, keep your paper. Um, that's probably not the right word. Store. When you store your paper, what I do is just have all the paper lying out flat and on top of each other. So that way, the more you make, the more it compresses it and the, the more it stays flat, which is really handy. So that's what I'll do with this. I'll add this to the collection. So again, really nice colours already. Loving it. And we have a red one here. It's a great way to extend the life of paper, if that makes sense. I am loving this. I'm going to rack my brains to what to make of this. And it's amazing that someone made this paper as well. It's been in someone else's possession to which they send to me. So a lot of work went into this for this person to make it. And thank you so much, Finn. Really nice paper. Let's hide the note under there. Oh, what do we have here? This is not tissue foil. Could this be single tissue? I believe it is. A sheet of single tissue. There we go. And it's got a really nice if you just listen. Really nice crisp. And really thin as well. Let's just flatten it out. And that, that is just ASMR right there. So Finn, thank you so much for this. It is a pleasure to receive the paper made by you. Um, it's an honour to have this. And it's great to see that you are attempting to make your own paper, which is um, really fascinating to see. Because that's one of the things uh, with me when I started to develop and find the new papers was I can't find the type of paper, can't find the right size, the right thickness, the right colour, so why not why not try and make it? And then that's what has driven me to where I am and to what I use to fold with. So it's really nice to see you doing this fun and I want you to keep up this amazing work. And of course, everyone go follow him. He will be linked on the screen in the description. Make sure to support them. Now, we are going to see the note. If it's got any information on it, like their email or their address, I will, well, of course, uh, blur the screen. So, there we go, there is Lupar right there. And it's funny enough, my mum suggested that I do the left side black or a dark, much darker colour. So, for instance, Looper and Penny. How do you think of that idea? I may contact the person who designed this to do a black side. I think that would be really, really nice. And there we go. <laughs> and it's cool to see this being sent to me. It's actually so nice. And let's turn it over and see what it says. Hello Grant slash Fearless Flourish. 
all of these sheets are homemade. There are three tissue foil, so I was correct. And one single tissue. Thought I'd share, I'd send you this as a handy Christmas present. Hope you like them from Finn Abs or Finn's Origami 2020 on Instagram, which I, again, will show on the screen, will link in the description. Make sure to go follow him, support him. He put in all this effort to, first of all, make the paper, package it up, and of course, send it to me. So please make sure to go and support Finn. He has a great upcoming folder for such a young age, and it's very impressive to see that in young folders. Their talent is skyrocketing and increasing so much because they're learning so much. They love origami so much, they want to learn as much as possible. So this is what drives them. So make sure to go and support them and help him out. Again, thank you Finn so much for your kind presence. This has been the best Christmas so far and I'm recording this the day before Christmas. No, two days before Christmas. Uploads the day before Christmas. So to think I'm getting origami for Christmas this year sent by you fellow folders um, and friends. You're more than just a fellow folder, you are an actual friend. So Finn, thank you so much for everything that you have done as well. It means a lot to me to have um, your paper in my possession that I'm going to rack my brains to find out what to fold with this and I can't wait to, I can't wait to share my results. So thank you so much Finn, this is amazing and thank you everyone for watching and I will see you all in the next video. I need to find an actual outro thing than that. What, what could I do?